All right, so what we're looking at here is the uh, GFI installed in the kitchen here. You can see the GFI test buttons. I'll go ahead and plug my tester in. And, yep, here we go again. The polarity is reversed. Uh, the two amber lights should be on. The red light should not be on. When I push the test button, the GFI should be shutting off. It's miswired. Most likely it's damaged and needs to be replaced. In addition uh, to the GFI itself, you can see here that there was, you know, these here cords uh, plugged into this GFI and then right here you can also see this here power stripped uh, being plugged into this GFI. Now if you go ahead and you pan back, Josh, in the kitchen here and just take a look at all the major kitchen appliances we have here. We have some type of a huge toaster oven here, a microwave, uh, a nice espresso coffee pot or something, a nice refrigerator, freezer, and then a wine cooler up on top of the fridge there. So here's a kitchen that is totally being overloaded. There's just not enough outlets inside this kitchen to support the today's load that we have, you know, for all the nice things that are available. All right, so what we found here is we found a receptacle behind this here sofa. And we'll go ahead and put our plug tester in it. And we can see again on this here outlet that the polarity is reversed and anytime that an outlet is not wired properly it's dangerous it's not considered safe you can also see that the cover plate the face plate on the outlet is uh, not in place and Josh go ahead with the camera go ahead and pan back just a little bit and you see the sofa here it was pushed right up against that there uh, uh, right up against the uh, wall there where that outlet is so if a fire did break out the cover plates missing it's not going to smother out the fire. Now we're going to have another bedroom fire. So, you know, who's ever watching this video, pay attention to your cover plates and make sure that they're in place to prevent house fires.